I have learned a lot from my mom. She has always proven herself to be very caring and considerate in regards to my brother and I. She taught me kindness, strength, and responsibility. One of my favorite memories of her is the Walmart parking lot story. I do not have a year, but I know my brother and I were kids. Maybe he was a young teenager. We had to go to Walmart for something. We pulled into the lot and found a place to park right in the front. As my mom pulled her big Jeep Commander into a spot, we heard a scratch. What do we do now? My mom paused, and I watched as the dilemma formed in her brain. She sat and pondered this decision for a long minute, not really saying anything. I told her to leave a note, and she almost did until we saw the scratch. It was an awfully long line carved into the side of this person's vehicle. The cherry on top was the veteran sticker attached to the back window. My mother sighed and told us that we would be hanging out in this parking lot for a long while. We waited 10, 20 minutes in the summer sun before my brother took some cash and bought us waters and whatever we came to buy. As time continued to pass, my mother paced, just waiting for this person to come out so they could hear a verbal apology instead of just a silly note. From my time at the curb, I created my own moral dilemma. Would I have done this? Why not? Is this act of kindness worth all the effort being put forth by the three of us? Am I fundamentally ignorant because I wanted my mom to just leave a letter? I questioned the pillars of my character in that Walmart parking lot. I realized that kindness is a constant and conscious effort of undiluted sympathetic acts. Kind people continuously behave in a manner that is above the average, but that so-called average exists differently to everyone. In my subjective perception, I believe genuine kindness stems from compassionate and attentive people helping others when they can. If I wish to be dubbed as kind, I must always sporadically incorporate the best interest of others into my daily life. The epiphany hit my tiny brain at a rate much faster than anything ever had before. I watched my mom pacing in circles and biting her nails, unknowingly causing her daughter to reconsider her entire moral code, until finally the owner of the scratched car appeared. He was an old Navy veteran, which made my mom wince even more. She had been hoping the sticker was just a coincidence. She repeatedly apologized, saying that it was a mistake and how she felt far too guilty to just walk away or leave. He almost didn't care. He just thanked us for waiting to tell him and wished us a good day. My mother took a sigh of relief and we finally drove home. After that day, I try to act in a way that I believe is kind, even if the outcome does not match the effort.